Hi, I'm Andre with Milwaukee Valve, and I'm here to show you through some of our advanced machining processes. Um, our company uh, does a great job in continually investing in their equipment um, to make our processes a lot more fast and accurate. Um, this is a good example where a uh, process where we would machine a gland for a valve, um, and it may have taken three or four operations in, uh, with previous equipment in uh, earlier days. And with this type of equipment, with multi-spindle, uh, multi-turret live tooling machines, we can now do things that uh, took two or three operations in the past, complete one operation, a lot less time, and a lot less setup time. We have lots of uh, shop floor areas for inspection to make sure that our parts are uh, always going to be up to par. We keep all of our tools very near the machines um, to improve our setup times. Uh, we also manufacture a great deal of our tooling right here in-house. So if we want to make a part more quickly, uh, we would actually manufacture the, uh, a tool to specifically work for that, uh, that product. This would be a good example of some of the customized tooling that we use here at Milwaukee Valve. Uh, this would be a customized porting tool to a, cut a, a swing check valve body. Um, it's all made in-house. The, the tool body is made in-house. The carbide is brazed on in-house and, uh, and cut on our wire EDMs in our tool room. Um, you can see lots of other versions of this. We have thousands and thousands of our own tools in stock um, to make a lot of our product here. It's another piece of equipment that we've recently acquired within the past year. This is a uh, more advanced uh, uh, vertical uh, machining center. You can see we got uh, various setups on here, quick change setups. Um, usually we can uh, set one of these things up in about an hour and a half to run pretty much any job that we need to run. Also has full fourth axis capabilities on this machine. Like our cutting tools, uh, we keep all of our uh, jaws and other setup materials that we need, um, basically right next to the machine tools. You can see this is a wall of jaws, which uh, we also design in-house and uh, a lot of times manufacture in-house um, as well to hold all of our various parts that we, uh, that we make here. Um, we also uh, have various uh, tombstones here that go into the machines that uh, hold the parts um, so that the machines can uh, bring the uh, tools to the parts. Um, and these particular things are adaptable to almost every machine that we have. So if one machine were to go down, we are able to very quickly um, transfer that job over to another machine with just a few adapters. Uh, this is another good example of uh, something that we've uh, invested in uh, quite recently. Uh, it's a Minitoyo uh, computer controlled CNC uh, CMM. The machine helps us uh, very accurately uh, measure some of our parts that uh, are, uh, you know, into the, into the tents, into the lower tents in, uh, in millions. So this has, a, this has a scanning head. There's lasers uh, inside the, uh, the scanning head here. Um, and uh, they hit a mirror on a sensor. What it does is uh, it, it knows that the angle that that mirror hits and then it feels the pressure. And this thing can take, uh, when you'll see the scanning thing coming up, this thing can take uh, basically just thousands and thousands of hits per inch um, and then accurately construct that into a approximation of the part um, so that we can make sure that we're uh, measuring it properly. And now it's actually doing a scanning motion. So it's actually keeping contact with the part the whole time. It's not just tapping it. It's keeping contact and it's watching those, those, uh, that sensor and it's watching the lasers bounce off a mirror inside there to know how much deflection that probe is getting all the way around. And he's probably taken, I don't know, a thousand hits or something like that on that, on that uh, diameter. About 750 on that one. them into the tolerance that we need, but this machine proves it. This machine says, yes, you did make it to what you wanted right. to make it to. Uh, these are uh, custom trunnion machines, uh, multi-spindle machines uh, made especially for Milwaukee Valve. Uh, these help us manufacture uh, parts very quickly. So when we have a job that uh, has a lot of run quantity to it, we would uh, run something like this. 
um, in combination with uh, some of the tooling that we showed you uh, earlier, where um, we make the tooling in here that allows us to cut multiple facets on a part with one shot, we would use uh, something like that on this machine, um, where we would cut everything with one shot on this, we'd have another shot coming in here to cut that. Um, at the same time, while something's being worked on on this end, this machine's holding it like this, something's being worked on on the other hand, other end at, at the same time. Um, there's eight, eight positions, eight jaw positions in this machine, um, and it goes and it actually, the turret moves around and brings the part to the spindles. Um, so the first cycle is quite long as it goes all the way around, but then after that you're getting a part every 10, 12 seconds. Um, so the benefit on these is the larger runs. The setup times are a little longer, but uh, the larger runs are where we really uh, shine on a machine like this. This here is a, uh, another uh, multi-spindle, uh, uh, multi-turret, uh, live tooling lathe uh, with gang tooling. It's a Swiss-style lathe. Uh, it's a good contrast, again, between uh, old and new. This is very new technology. Um, some of our older technology is right over here on the other side of the wall. This is how we uh, used to do a lot of this stuff um, years ago. They still work very well for running massive quantities of parts very quickly, but their setup times are very long. We're talking 12 hours sometimes for a setup time. Where a machine like this, we can set it up in an hour, hour and a half. Um, and we can make parts that, once again, used to take uh, an operation over there, another operation to mill these surfaces, and then a third operation to grind a nice finish on here, and on this stem. So this machine is capable of doing all of that in a very short amount of time and get a good enough finish on the part that we don't have to grind it anymore. As you can see, great care is taken in between every single operation to protect all the parts after we put that nice, beautiful machine finish on here that it doesn't get damaged on its way to the next uh, to assembly or the next operation. Uh, here we have another example of a uh, multi-spindle, uh, multi-turret, uh, live tooling machine. And it's doing a very similar type of deal. Uh, this particular one is cutting this out of a round piece of bar stock um, and threading it and milling the hex onto the end of it. So we don't even have to buy hex bar stock like we would have had to do years ago. We can buy round and we can make the hex out of it. The machine is still fast and efficient enough that uh, we can afford to cut that extra material off of it. So, um, as you probably uh, uh, looked at some in some of the other video, um, uh, we have our own pattern shop internally here to make our patterns for our foundry. Um, and this is our tool room. Um, and here uh, is where we manufacture a lot of our cutting tools, which you uh, might have seen, and um, our jaws. Um, and if we need any modifications or we have any trouble with some of our existing fixturing, jaws, tooling, um, even some of our production stuff or equipment, um, we have the facilities right here in house, including uh, a brand new CNC uh, vertical machining center and CNC lays in here that we can uh, uh, facilitate the uh, production of uh, the rest of our product here. Um, we don't have to go to the outside um, and ask them to fix some of our stuff. We can fix it fast and now and get it done. So this, mach this uh, uh, inspection machine uh, allows us to check uh, run out and dimensions on uh, our cutting tools. Um, we can also use it to preset our tools for our CNC machines, but in this case we're using it in our tool room uh, to uh, actually check the dimensions of our finished tool that we made or uh, in-process tool that we're making um, so that it can cut our parts uh, precisely. I'm Andre with Milwaukee Valve and it's been a pleasure showing you some of our machining processes today.